One of our hens has sour crop, which requires some intervention from us. In our year plus of keeping chickens, we've had a really good run with very, very little catastrophe or incidents with the chickens. Out of the second batch of pullets we bought last fall, we had one of them that was sick when we got it. We didn't know it was sick at the time, but the next day it had coccidiosis symptoms and died later that night. There's 14 in here, but there's one that doesn't look right. This one right here. But I did just check on the pullet, she is dead. I gloved up and took the dog crate out and it's sitting on the outside of the greenhouse but still with inside the electric fence area. The good news is though, all the other pullets look very active, healthy, no one looks lethargic. So I'm hoping this is an isolated situation. Our first death on the homestead. Then over the winter, one of her hands just disappeared. And then over the summer, Sadly, we lost our prized alpha rooster, Tails. When he got injured a few days ago and hasn't been doing well, I have him separated in this dog crate right here for his own protection. The other chickens were giving him a really hard time and hurting on him. So I have him separated over here and I just came out to check on him and I think he's dead. Aw, oh, Tails. Come on, man. Come on, buddy. No. I just checked him a couple hours ago, and though he was not fine, he was in bad shape, he was still with us. He had his head up still, at least. Oh, man. Aside from that, we haven't had any real big problems or health issues with the chickens until now. This is what we've been dealing with over the last week. A couple of our hens have sour crop, which is a growth of fungus in their crop. It's kind of gross, and uh, what happens is the food that's in the crop doesn't digest, so the chance of becoming malnourished is kind of high. So we, uh, we treated one of the chickens. She's very beautiful, so uh, we really want her to get better, and we uh we had to catch her and then invert her and essentially make her regurgitate whatever was in her crop and we did that for a few days and we also gave her apple cider vinegar in her water and then i noticed a couple other chickens had mild sour crop so they're still all in here together and what we're doing to treat them is giving them a whole milk yogurt so the same yogurt we eat it's obviously organic and it's not Greek yogurt, just a regular plain yogurt. No added sugars of any kind. And I put apple cider vinegar in their water. So um, they don't look like they're getting worse, but we're monitoring them kind of closely because uh, you know, if they're losing a lot of weight, that means that we need to segregate them from the others and treat them a little more aggressively. So this is one of our blue copper morans that we got in the spring. She's about six months old. She's laying eggs. She's very beautiful. Actually, I think she's the most beautiful one that we have. Of course, our efforts to preserve her life have nothing to do with her physical appeal. But um, she's not as big as the others, and I think it's because she's had the sour crop. So we want to make sure that she's not losing weight. So I'm going to burp her, massage her crop, which is pretty full. I think you liked it, right? You have a really bad case of indigestion. Oh, look at that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, pretty stinky. And we want to be careful that uh, she doesn't aspirate. No, buddy. Wow, that is a lot. Oh. Let's see, that was fairly effective. What do you think? Mm hmm. And now her sisters are uh, eating it. Nothing lot, goes to waste. Yeah, nothing goes to waste. A lot came out, which was uh, our goal. 
it's so cleaning up. Yeah. She's not very happy about it, but I think it's better than being dead. So just to recap for sour crop, we wanted to give them a yogurt, <laughs> apple cider apple cider vinegar and we want to help them regurgitate some of that excess stuff. build up out of the crop yes yes and the yogurt is to help i guess get a lactobacillus yes. balance going on all in the, the crop. nice probiotics in the yogurt thanks buddy one of the other reasons that we give her yogurt is that she doesn't really have to do anything to digest it so it's calories to keep her going while also helping her improve. What is the status update with Miss Sauercrop? Oh, her crop is still sour, and there's another one with a sour crop. Yeah, I see her. She's right there. Yeah. Yep, still bulging. Still bulging. Oh, there's another one with a sour crop. Yeah. Who? That one right there. See her? That one? This black hopper moran? Yes. We are putting her in the dog crate and we're going to feed her yogurt and apple cider vinegar so that she can get well very quickly. We're taking her off the chicken feed, yeah, right? Yeah, no more grain for her. And the dog crate serves as our chicken infirmary yes. when it's not being used as a dog crate. Yes, which is not often. Only once, actually. Only once, yes. <laughs> We'll continue to keep an eye on her and we'll monitor her progress closely and keep you guys updated too to let you know how that turns out. And since we're on the subject of chickens today, I want to tell you about Jake and Becky over at White House on the Hill YouTube channel. They're small family raising their children on a chicken farm in the Midwest and they're doing a daily YouTube vlog and in one of their latest videos, they started a new series called This Week in Homesteading. It's all about chickens, getting chickens from the hatchery, and lots of humor in there. Jake's doing a very good job with entertaining. And in it, Jake's wife, Becky, calls out the grass-fed homestead in regards to some of our chicken practices. So you guys will have to check that out. Ashley and I got a good laugh at it. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you like the video, please consider subscribing to their channel and help them out. I've just moved the pigs into a new paddock and they're gleefully getting to work here on tilling. They're watch this watch this rooting action here. Yeah, tear that up girl. Eat those roots out. Thank you. 